Boolean modifiers are a very powerful tool that you could use to design your own things. So let's go ahead and delete the camera and light by pressing X on the keyboard. And I'm just gonna quickly change the units to millimeters. Uh, go to the scene properties, go to units, and I'm going to change the length to millimeters and the unit scale to 0.001. And then I'm gonna go up here to the viewport overlays and change the grid scale to 0.001 as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna select the object, press N to open up the object properties, and I'm going to set the dimensions. 80, 80, and let's say 70, not quite as tall. Okay, so there's our object there. So now let's say we want to create a tool organizer and we want a couple of different holes and slots on top. So we could use a Boolean modifier to do that. If we add an object, let's say a cylinder, and we scale that object up. So I'm gonna scale it in all directions first and then scale it vertically like this. Okay, make sure it's not sticking out of the bottom. Just gonna drag it up, maybe like that is good. All right, and maybe you want this hole to be over here in this corner. All right, so now we can actually cut this cylinder out of this square. So we'll wanna select the square first because we're gonna be cutting the cylinder out of this square. And now go to this blue wrench here, that's your modifier properties and go to add modifier and go to boolean. Now you see there's difference and union and intersect. We want difference since we're cutting it out. So select the object with the object picker. There we go. And that should work. Go ahead and click apply right here. And we could delete the cylinder by pressing X and then delete. All right, so now we have a clean hole cut in there. And now let's say we want a larger slot cut out of here. And maybe we don't need this, this side to be as tall either. So let's add a cube. And let's, let's scale that cube up in all directions. And yeah, let's do that. And now we can move it up. Maybe over here like this. Maybe a little bit higher. I'm gonna scale it one more time this way something like that and move it over just however you want. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna select this cube again and let's go to Boolean modifier and I'll cut it out. There you see, it looks like it worked. Go ahead and click apply and then we can delete the tool object. Okay, so now it kind of has this stair step like that and we can start cutting some more holes and slots into it. So I'm gonna to go to add, mesh, and let's do on this entire area here. So I'm gonna add a cube, and I'm gonna scale that cube. All right, just kind of eyeballing it. I'm gonna move, so I'm just switching between move and scale. Let's scale this way, that should be good. And then maybe scale a little bit taller Make sure it's not sticking out of the bottom. Okay, that's good. Now we can take our object here, the main object, and go to add modifier, Boolean, and select this object here. Once again, click apply, and you should start getting the, the hang of it. It's definitely, just, it's a pretty simple pattern. And then you click on your object, you click X to delete, and then press delete. And now we have this opening here. And now let's say we want a few more different uh, cuts up top. Uh, let's go to add mesh. And I don't know, let's, what do you think? Let's do, how about a cube, another cube. Move it over here, scale it up. You can see how you could pretty easily design simple things like this. And you can even see the dimensions of this here. So there's the dimensions of it. And let's say, I don't know, maybe we want to make sure it's, um, maybe it needs to be at least 15. 
So it's a little bigger than 15. And then we could scale it out here and move it like that. And we need to make sure it's not sticking out of the bottom, otherwise it'll cut a hole all the way through. So we're just gonna pull it up. That should be good. Now we can select the whole object, go to add a modifier, Boolean, select the object, click apply. Now we delete the object. And now we have our custom organizer that was actually really easy to make. And additionally, we could use Boolean modifiers to add to this shape. So we could go to add mesh and let's add a cube. We'll move the cube over here and let's move it down and then let's scale it up. All right, I need a little bit smaller. Okay, and then move it to here, just like that. And down a little bit. Now when you're using Boolean modifiers, you never want the faces to be overlapping. So if it was like this, See how these faces are very close to overlapping here, um, even if they're a little bit closer, because that could cause issues when you're doing the cut, if it's too close like that where they're overlapping. So you always want to leave some extra space. So for this one, what I'll do is I'll make it a little bit too low, and then I'll cut everything off the bottom just to make sure the whole thing is flat. So let's add this square to this shape. Select the shape, add modifier, Boolean. This time we're going to select Union, and now we can select this object. Now they're connected. Go ahead and click apply. And now we can delete the square. Okay. And we need to make sure that this is flat. But first, maybe let's do a cut all the way through this time. So let's add a mesh cube. And you can definitely see the pattern at this point. You add the object, you do the modifier, you cut it, you delete the object. It's really not too bad at all. And this time, let's, let's just cut it all the way through. Why not? So it's hanging out the bottom. Okay. Add modifier. Boolean. Difference. Okay. We'll select the object. All right. Click apply. Now we delete the object. Now it's cut all the way through. But now we need to make sure it's all flat. So I'm going to add one more square. One more cube. This time I'm just going to scale it really wide like this and maybe a little bit taller. Keep scaling it. There we go. And then move it all the way down. Let's say to there. Select this object and then I will slice the entire bottom off. Just like that. Click apply. And then delete the object by pressing X and then delete. Now it's completely flat on the bottom. So that is the power of Boolean modifiers.